Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true that welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, we made it here, to Far Harbor, and I suspect at some point, I'm going to regret doing that. And, you may notice, because I'm wearing power armor, I'm not doing the usual monologue strolling. Alright, I'm holding still, and just looking around, I'm growing, personally, as a character here right now. It's taking... All of my willpower, not to just be running back and forth, burning my fusion cores. But I'm going to do it, damn it. So, last time we arrived and we made it to Acadia. And today, we need to head over to here, the nucleus, or to be precise, well, the submarine base, the nucleus is within it. And that's gonna be a lot more difficult, alright? This here, this was just walking up a cliff. This walk's much longer, much more dangerous, and there's even more on the end, because they're not just gonna let me in, I'm gonna need to prove myself, and that's gonna involve even more walking. So, uh, we're gonna be going over a lot of our harbour today, uh, and this place is full of really dangerous monsters, but I do have one advantage. Far Harbour is uh, dangerous, its wildlife is terrifying, but it's pretty regular, it's fairly predictable. I'm pretty confident I know what's going to be where. So, okay. I've got a plan, and it's pretty bloody crucial I stick to it. And don't get distracted and wander off because I saw a shiny thing we're doomed, aren't we? Let's just take this step by step and use my custom markers. So I'm going to put one custom destination right here. Alright, I know the exact right spot because that is at the end of the road on the top of this hill. But for the time being... Yes, we just need to move out and start going in this direction. Straight down the hill. Alright, I'm in power armor. So, no need to worry about uh, full damage or, or any of that. But if I just go straight down this way, we should be going into pretty calm territory. What I'm expecting as we get nearby to the water is uh, an angler over to the left and some bears to the right. So I'm just going to bear round to the right in this direction. Again, don't worry about anything. And brackets nice and calm for now. Yeah, we're kind of straight into the uh, the stressful bit today, as it turns out. Now, where's the... Okay, well, there's the bears. And I might just take them out just for safety and also, you know, food. So, okay, you can just go down, buddy. And you can just go down too. I mean, oh, sorry, you weren't dead. I kind of thought you were dead. There might have been a third one. Okay, just a few more shots. Just, just uh, get rid of him, actually. And any time you... We're fine. We're fine. There was just more... There wasn't more bear. I just didn't kill the one I thought I'd... Everything's fine. It's all under control. So they're, they're nice and dead. Yeah, it was just the two. I just didn't realise they were... It's fine. Everything's under control now. There should be. It worries me Vats can't attack. The angler that I know should be here. But we're fine. We're fine for now. Okay, that's not like an omen. And yeah... Even uh, hidden anglers, vats can detect. So we should be A-OK. -okay. Just trying, you know, work around fog banks as best you can. Just straight through here. It's fine. Those are just plants. I would know because vats would know if it was an angler. And there it is. Okay, got her. And when I say got her, I mean we're definitely not going over there at all. Instead, we're going... Jump. What's... What's up with the... Okay, what's... Um, does anybody know what's going on with my... I don't seem to have a... Okay, I'm um, try changing weapons there and... Okay, I'm glad I spotted that because that would have been interesting. The gun just stopped working because it was briefly in. Good, 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 good. Everything's... Everything's starting off really well today. I'm happy about everything. Now, 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 now. That marker, I am not going to... Back off, back off, back off. I'm 
not going to that marker. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to be put into caution there. Alright, Peckish, that's fine. I'll sort that out in a second. That marker is a trapper encampment. I do not want to fight those guys. What I want to do instead is go around them. Tiny bit of rats here. Okay. I'll loop round more to the right. Alright. This is going to be just fine. Everything's under control. It's all as it should be. This little path up here should be pretty empty. Because they never put enemies on particularly steep terrain. Because enemies just don't path well on it. Okay, here we go. So, I've grabbed a bite to eat. And now I am a fair way north of that destination. This should definitely be far enough away. There's no trouble. And now if I just go pretty much due west. What I'm expecting to see right now is, yeah. Path down towards the road. Use the map right now. The map's pretty important. So, okay. Just head in this direction. Carefully moving towards them. Don't want to be this side of the... Well, I'm this side of the rock now because I've kind of fallen off it, but it's fine. Power armor. No need to worry. Just keep on the old VAT scan. I'm expecting... A couple of wolves up ahead. Alright, but a wolf isn't particularly dangerous. Not even a few of them, so we should be a-okay. Is that what I'm expecting? No. I think I'm further north than I thought I was going to be. So let's just skirt around you. Because I don't want to pick a fight with trappers. Because they've got guns. Most things in this DLC don't have guns. No range on them. Bloody useful. How close am I to them right now? Okay, far enough back. We should be okay. Because obviously their encampment, their defences go down the road. So they're expanding down south. Work around that bank of fog. And yeah, you've probably noticed I've not run into much fog yet. The fog tends to be around the roads. So if you go cross country, you'll take less rats. I can hear those guys. But it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. Yeah, they're pretty distant. Alright. Go to the road. They don't care about me. That's fine. And now all I want is straight across the road. Nice, calm bit of land. And straight back up again. Alright, don't stay on the roads. Roads are bad. Now... I need to reorientate myself because, well, okay. Far Harbor's hard to navigate, all right? And also, that rock isn't really a rock, but whatever. It's really hard to navigate in Far Harbor sometimes, all right? You can have a perfect route, but it's not necessarily going to work out very well. Now, buddy, where's my... Oh, okay. That rock also wasn't a rock. And that's, that's a problem. I've got to be a bit careful around here because I'm pretty sure... I just saw in the distance. Where are you, buddy? There's definitely the potential for a fog crawler round over these parts. But what I want more than anything is, yeah, time to move the uh, the thing. Going to move the marker to here. To be honest, I'd feel better if I had eyes on the fog crawler that can spawn in this bit of the world. I'd just like to know where he is. Because we should. We should be alright. Just have a little loop, see? That's just an angler. If he's anywhere, he's further up the coast. So there is also... Oh, hang on. Hello, buddy. Hello. That angler is fighting. Ah! Okay, there we go. That That's where she is. Okay, we've got eyes on and this is completely the worst thing that could happen. Okay, so what's going on here is, uh, yeah, the fog crawler has basically been drawn over by an angler to the crossing point, which I was going to use 
to get round to good. Good, good, good. Well, alright. If we're lucky, they might pretty much kill each other. The angler's doing very poorly, obviously. Yeah, um, you don't want to mess with uh, these guys. Alright, fog crawlers have like several thousand hit points and 300 odd armor. They're a step above anything else. Alright, and they also do that. They just do a big splash, and I want to be using staggering. Alright. It's lost interest. I could nuke it. It's about half health right now. I could nuke her. Depends which direction she's... She's coming in this direction. Okay, um... I think I want to nuke her. Yeah, you know what? Yes. This is, this is what we're going to be doing. I've got too many nukes. Alright, this is why we bring the bastards. So let's just make sure we've got... Is that the same fog crawler or are there two? It's, it's fine, right? I hope so. Um, okay. It does seem to be going away. Okay. Staggering. Where is she? Just eyes, eyes on, eyes on. Okay, she's definitely going away. Go. Let's let's go. Let's just get across. This is. If nothing else, she's cleared out the angler for me, which I was thinking I might have to do. Right, way over there. Way over there. Just. Okay, she's kind of turning and is now moving in the same direction I am. Uh, might still need to nuke her. Potentially, depending on which way she's... No, she's now some way off. Okay. This should be fine. I was thinking I might need to deal with an angle around these parts, but that's just a tree branch. Okay, just be aware. That fog crawler might now be a bit, you know, not where I'm hoping or expecting but overall, that wasn't so bad. Okay, sure, I ended up in caution. A bear nearly mauled me and a fog crawler ended up being completely in the way. Other than that, this all went really well, spot on. So, okay, as we can already see it on the compass, we're now almost there to the base. So, all right, there we go. The nucleus, marvellous. Though, stay away from the, um, the barrels. And these two lovely people are going to be told to shoot each other. And one's going to say sure and one's going to say no. Uh, guess who wins that fight? Still, that's wrapped up. One's dead. And that means there's a brand new opening inside the nucleus. Though, as I say, they're going to want me to prove my worth before I'm allowed in. I could shoot my way in. Terrible idea, though. Let's not do that. There is a small spring not far from here. Drink from it. Follow where it leads. You come back. We'll discuss you joining the faithful. And that there should begin Visions in the Fog. Now this is, oh, this is an interesting mission. And also, it means we need to go even further afield yet. Here's the fun thing about the spring. All right, I'm drinking from an irradiated spring in order to have a, a rad vision. It does not matter whether you're doing rad X, whether you're wearing a power armor, a hazmat suit, Anything, even if you've taken all the ranks of lead belly, even if you've done all of the above, the amount of rad you take is standardized. It can never, ever change. It is always 150 rads or 15% of your total health bar. So that's just what's about to happen. I can't change that. But in case you hadn't thought about this, okay, so in YOLO, your health bar is a matter of absolute numbers. At one point, I was down nearby to 20% health, but by virtue of gaining more base health with endurance and all the rest of it, I've managed to get that percentage up. Rads don't work that way. At the start of the game, you have the capacity to have a thousand rads, all right? And that's all the capacity that you will ever have. You can increase your rad resistance to lower the rate to which you are gaining new rads, but once gained, a rad is there forever. I will always have... Well, okay. In the theoretical event, I took no more rads for the rest of the game. I'd always be at what appears to be about 77% empty rads and 23% rads. So I can never go above 77% health. No matter how long I play the game, how many levels, it just can't happen. So 
you've got to be a bit careful with rads. Sure, I've got some spare space right now for some additional rads, but eventually that's going to start being a problem and you're going to pick up a lot of rads during this DLC. Still, for now, we are where we are. Just, you know, try and give the... Uh, the barrels a bit of a wide berth sprint over the actual barrels if you can because as I say I don't want to be taking too many rads and we've even got a rad storm up lovely so okay let's just uh follow the route my next route is bringing me around these rocks here and uh, yeah as I was suspecting young gulpa up in the tree don't worry about him instead worry about his friends Gonna be a couple of yeah, there we go. Young Gopa. I'm expecting two. I'm expecting to see two Gopas. Uh, legendary. Okay. I might want to take out one of them before I can see. You know, okay, I'm going over to penetrating. If I could just get a good shot on one of these bastards, that'd be enough to get a kill. That's still 50-50. Go! Okay, I've now upset the legendary, potentially. Where's the legendary? Where's the legendary? Why can I see the legendary? I don't like the fact I can't see the legendary. I don't like the fact I can't see the legendary. That's... No! The legendary was unrelated. Okay, this is not what I was expecting, actually. Hang on, where's the cooking... There's a legendary right there. Hang on, are you even awake? Okay, this is more than I was expecting, actually. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, yeah, bellies are the weak points. By the way, it's fine. Uh, I'm going over to... No, we're back to hitting. Good. Good, good, good. Get over here. Take a good 64% shot at the body. That should be enough if we get lucky. Uh, come on. That was poor luck. Where's the legendary? No, seriously. I've not had proper eyes on... This bloody legendary and I don't like it. I know there's one in the train. Where the... There you are. You kind of kind of submerged. Like a um like a Maya lurk. Okay. I say actually leave it be. No need to mess with legendaries. Alright, no need. No trouble. Just John. Stay focused up to 231. We're fine for now. What I need to do now is, yeah, just go over to about here. Just push forwards in this direction. I know where to cross because there's going to be a good, easy, obvious crossing point. Just eyes open. That's just the young gold prop in the train. No trouble with, uh, with him. There we go. Big Skellington. That tells me where I'm supposed to be crossing. Alright. There's no trouble. No trouble there. We should be... Yeah, there we go. Not actually along the Skellington. It just shows me where there's a good crossing point. So, uh, this area should be peaceful. Alright, everything... Everything's fine so far. And that's the spring. All lit up. Should be empty. I can't imagine any creatures uh, would be allowed to spawn uh, or roam uh, too close to the spring. So, uh, I really hope I can drink from the spring in power armor. I didn't actually check that. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you should see my rads, if I've understood this right. Basically, uh, just eat 15% of my health bar forever. Can't change that. And also, there's a lot of rads around here. So, okay. Let's get in there. Let's make this happen. Atom Spring. Yeah, I'm taking some rads. I know, I know, I know. And maybe get out of here if at all possible. And in just a moment, someone's about to say, there you go. That figure now says follow. Okay, we're now safe. I'm in a parallel dimension where as long as I'm following her, there's no trouble. Any enemies I see, they don't exist. Okay, this is, this is not going to be good for my nerves. Because in theory, Fallout 4 could bug out and put a real enemy in place. But if that were to happen then I would detect it. And you can see there, just look at the... Look at the number of rads. That's a lot of rads. That's a really, really big number of rads. Okay, so just follow her. And we should be... Not real. Not real. Vats can't see it, so it's not real. 
Alright, if that can't see it, it doesn't exist. Just follow her. We'll be seeing some, I think, gulpers in the Fog 2. Though the barrels are real. The landscape is real. But, like, what I'm seeing in the landscape isn't. So it's all, it's all fine. Everything's okay. She is leading me to where we can get a very important item. But for the time being, we're safe. Not real. She doesn't exist. They don't exist. Alright, they're not really... Just notice the brackets, though. Can she detect me, even though... Okay, she does have a detection meter. I was a little bit worried there for a second, uh, but it's fine. Okay, take in some, uh, some light rads here, up to 385. Bloody hell. Okay, just, just keep on keeping on. It's all fine. Pretty soon, we should have got to where she is uh, planning uh, to lead me, and then we'll have a bit of combat. But, nothing too dramatic, and no, not real. Not real, not real. Though she's kind of real, because, like, she does lead me somewhere that does exist, and also, like, other people have seen her too, so... I mean, mystical stuff does exist in Fallout, kind of. Not real, don't panic. Like, yeah, magic and mysticism and aliens, it's all real. We just don't really talk about it very often. But in Fallout, pretty much anything bloody goes. Here we go, this looks about right. And, uh, yes. The holy site is now real. And enemies I can see are now real as well. So we have now got just some ghouls. I see... Ooh, rotting. Okay, we're getting into... Bigger, nastier stuff here. Hang on, what throwable do I have set at the moment? Frag grenades, not bad. Okay, just be careful. We're into, yeah, some potentially troublesome stuff. And also my vision is all blurry. So I can't even cocky see the enemies I'm supposed to be taking out. Uh, you're rotting. There's your aroma. Okay. Start taking shots. I should be able to handle this. If it starts getting dicey... Then just psycho jet up. Okay. One goes down. Who's looking interested? You're not even awake yet. You haven't woken up yet. No one seems too interested. But yeah, visibility during this section is really poor. I've got my AP back, right? Should have a good shot at you with 70%. Come on, there we go. Second shot does that. And there's, I'm seeing, oh, Fog Ghoul. Those are the weakest ghouls of all, which is interesting. Because you'd think, you know, us being in Far Harbor, they'd be like, you know, stronger. But no, they're actually the weakest ones. So just keep on keeping on. That's a hit. And back to hitting. Good, 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 good. So some of them haven't woken up yet. I was kind of worried things might get a bit dicey there for a second. But actually seems to be okay. All right, hidden. You are really bad at detecting me. So take the shot right there. And you go down. And you, buddy, can also just go down to a manual. And there's a rotting two who I am repeatedly missing. Come on, there's... Right, I don't know what's going on with you, buddy. But for some reason, you're refusing to... Well, crit in that case. Alright, you're going down, buddy. You're going down. Stay out of the fog patches. Just check. Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's more around the back, too. This area is uh, heavy on enemies. I may or may not be able to shoot through the fence. We can on this occasion. And yeah, seriously, you get way more XP for enemies uh, than anything else. Be good. Alright, we're good. No legendaries. I was kind of hoping for a legendary, but what can you do? Just check the back. I think we're fine. This area is heavy on rads. There's no real point doing rad X, though. I've already got 1,050 rad resistance. Just check you're fine. You are fine. So now we just get in here. I am going to take some rads. Get over here. Read that. That is the password. Very quickly, go over here. No amount of hacking is going to sort that out for you. So just open that, please. And I believe, yes, my vision is now over. So get in here. Grab that. It is the mother icon. 
grab that too. And yes, to this shrine retreat upon Atom Fink, know his servant's watch. Alright, so that's a note right there. Not 100% sure what it refers to, but it's a note. And now we just need to pretty much retrace our steps, though actually not. Because, yeah, we're now back in regular universe, meaning if I try and retrace my steps perfectly, there might be stuff, like, nearby that's now a bit more dangerous than what was. So, okay. Hang on. Back to the... Back to the map, please. Up to 388. What I want to do is go to about here, and then we'll go over open land to Atom Spring, which is probably very similar to the route she took me anyway. But yeah, there's a base of enemies about here-ish, but I just need to watch out for wildlife. There might now be real wildlife to replace the fake stuff. Radstorm still seems to be ongoing, so I'm still taking a tiny bit of sporadic rad damage, just... Up the road, and yeah, there it is. There's the camp. So I don't want to get too close to that. But I don't want to go straight down to the water either. Because, you know, stuff lives in the water. So both are kind of, you know, bad things. Just eyes open. Start bearing to the right. And scan everything. Oh, yeah. That's something I don't want to mess with. That's a high-level uh, laddie right there. Stay up on the rocks. Yeah, there's a good hedge here. So if I just move along here, then we should be A-OK. -okay. All right, that's, that's fine. I just... It's fine. Just a bit of rumbling. Keep my distance from the camp. And now we're past that guy. Just follow this natural path down this direction. And we should be moving towards 388. Yeah, a decent enough crossing point. So, that's eyes open, all the rest of it. Seems... Seems good, right? Yep, seems good to me. And now we want to go up in the world. Alright, stay away from a landmark that might start appearing on my compass at some point. That's the, um... The glowing grove. And it's bad. It's really radioactive, even in power armor. So give that a bit of a, a wide berth. But at this point, when we get back to the spring, we should be a okay. There it is. Yeah, it's that marker. So I want to keep that on my right and not go too near to that. All right. Keep your distance. That's really bloody radioactive. And uh, yeah. I've now got an odd 40% of my health meter just being nothing but rads. That is not good news. Okay. We're now past there. So now, yeah, I can't fast travel. So just place a marker. Because now I want to start moving straight towards that. And with you over there, I should be able to go direct. This should be a pretty quiet bit of the world. Right, no sign of trouble. Visibility is very poor in this DLC. Stay away from those barrels, by the way. Even in power armor, every rat is just slowly adding up. Then again, I'm still at 388. I've barely gained anything. Even with the uh, the power armor and without the uh, hazmat suit rad reduction, you're still pretty much fine. All right, the hazmat suit is overkill for everything except the glowing sea, to my mind. Okay, that brings us to... Yes, the spring. So now, 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 what I want to do is cross back over around about here. And then, yeah, go back over the way I came. Take a right. Watch out for that legendary gulper I wasn't expecting. All right. And seriously, just just look at this. You can't cooking see anything in this DLC. Okay, back to where I was. Uh, food. Uh, and water need to be taken care of. But let's deal with that later. Now, if we just turn here, we should be getting nearby to... Uh, yep, there's our buddy up there in the train. No need to disturb him. Just stay far enough back to avoid uh, potential issues with uh, that legendary. 
who I do not have a location for right now. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that one little bear. He must be, there he is. I mean, I kind of just want to take a shot at him, but I mean, basically wildlife in Far Harbor, don't mess with. I'm not sure it's worth the, um, the risk. I'd rather just let him be. All right, live and let live. For the time being, no cocking trouble. It's just, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not, no. Be sensible. This is the DLC to be sensible. Follow a plan and just, you know, respect the plan. Respect the locals. Don't get distracted. All right. We should be fine there, so okay. Just going to sprint over the bridge because uh, the bridge is partially made out of rad barrels. And uh, yeah, that's going to make the uh, the ticky thing tick up even under the circumstances uh, with the power armor. Right, buddy, I'm back. And also it turns out I'm the chosen one because the mother of the fog revealed herself to me. And apparently that's not very common. Oh, flip me. I just got an idiot of on. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That was an idiot of on quest complete. Visions in the Fog, 2,000 XP. I'll be taking that, thank you. And yes, he also gives you some uh, some robes to welcome you. Though, they're kind of terrible, to be honest. They're just not very good at all. Right, immediately dumped them. And as you can see, just like a Cajun Ideals uh, spawned previously, we've now got a new mission, Help Out the Children of Atom. However, some of these missions will actually be doing. Because yeah, plenty of the ones in Far Harbor in particular are a huge amount of danger for almost no benefit. These, however, two of these we can complete immediately for some free XP at the risk of maybe a handful of rads, but nothing dramatic. Also, oh my goodness, an unexpected level up because, oh, it never hurts to get 2,000 XP out of nowhere. Now I should really, really be working on intelligence because we've been saying all along I need to move towards jetpack. Jetpack is kind of crucial for safely completing the rest of Nuka World which I did have to cow out of previously. However, is there anything else that might be able to tempt me? Because bloody hell, oh Demo Expert 4, I would love to take you so much. As much as I love Demo Expert 4, no, we're doing it. Intelligence is now moving in the right direction. So we're now at Intelligence 5. This actually means I'm going to be getting overall less XP because the day-to-day -day XP is less than the amount I'm going to lose from Idiosavon triggering less often. But what can you do? All right, the things we do for jetpacks. And into the submarine base and be really bloody careful in here because, yeah, these being the Children of Atom... They don't care about rads. In fact, it's kind of established most of these guys, not all, but most, are immune to radiation. So, large parts of this architecture, their buildings, everything, are just built out of radioactive stuff. So, there's barrels everywhere. Don't just wander around, you will take a ton of rads. Anyway, for the time being, let's go have a chat with the Confessor. Because, yeah, I'm the chosen one, I'm a big deal, diddly diddly day. We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot. And with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Oh, and perfect timing. He's interested in Dima's memories too. Spectacular. So, straight away, as I'm the chosen one, I can get into Dima's memories. He trusts me to give me access to the Nucleus Command Center. And oh, bloody hell. I'm not looking forward to the Nucleus Command Center. Remember how I've been saying this whole time, hey, whatever happens, don't fight Assaultrons. Yeah, guess what's waiting for me in there? Those memories you've been wanting to access? I found a way to unlock them. You have? Atom above, child. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. So, that's one thing, but no, 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 no. Tactus, I'm not done with you yet, actually. I need to get myself a lovely, lovely, yes, submission. I'd like to help the family. Is there anything I can do? Eager. 
There is a member of our little community I've suspected for some time now. My own inquiries have proven fruitless. But your relative newness will likely make it easier for you to sniff out the truth. I would have you investigate this person. Should you find proof of any heresy or disloyalty, you are to bring it to me. Show you can be trusted, and you'll be rewarded. So, I will gladly do that. Also, I love this little cloak and dagger touch at the end here. Consider it done. Superb. Bring whatever you find directly to me. Here, the person in question. Leave no stone unturned. This is a chance to prove your value to Adam. He doesn't actually say out loud who the person is, because there are other people around, which makes sense. I mean, a lot of the time in RPGs, characters just say very sensitive information when there's a lot of other people nearby. But no, there's a lot of instances where someone will either write something down, then hand it to you, or alternatively, actually say, hey, we should speak somewhere more private, which is really cool. It's a lovely touch. So if we just open up the note, we now know who we're supposed to be investigating. And as a result, we should either speak to her or search her bunk. Her bunk is really radioactive and all we'll find there is a note saying, Hey, we should probably communicate our secret heretical thoughts using our usual key and locker locations. So fortunately, yes, the key is always in play. So hang about, it is back here. There we go. Right behind the bench, right here. So, I've now got the key without having to bother getting the rads. I think that might actually be there like 100% of the time, even when you arrive before you've begun the witch hunt. So, inside the submarine, and oh blimey, we're getting through fusion cores. Still four though. Alright, we've still got plenty. This place, by the way, is, as you might guess, full of rads um, too. So, okay, just straight down over here. It's these big cylinders in particular. So, just sprint past them them there we go through here this secret footlocker and that gets me a secret note of lies and betrayal oh dear accusing tectus of murder saying that tectus isn't the real leader well this looks like some heresy to me now i can take this information and uh, yeah turn it over to her or lie on her behalf in order to get some money but I don't really see much reason to do that because, yeah, there's a fun little bonus thing. It's very small, but yeah, there's just a little bonus thing if you complete this in a nasty, in favour of Tectus sort of a way. So, hi, Confessor. Got some heresy for you, fresh off the presses. I wanted to talk to you about Sister Aubert. Hmm, yes. Tell me, what did you find? I found this note. Here. Let me see. I knew it. You've done well in bringing this to me. I will send men to collect our good sister. Here, for your loyalty. Know that your dedication to Adam will not soon be forgotten. And there we go, the Inquisitor's Cow. So, where is intelligence increases with rads, which isn't actually a legendary effect you can get in the game, but screw it. It's a unique item with a legendary-ish sort of effect. So uh, it's not like I need it. In fact, it's actually kind of terrible for me. Because as I say, day to day, I want my intelligence to be as low as possible, not as high. Though it is cool. It's very cool looking. And there we go. Witch hunt is complete. That's literally it. So uh, I shan't leave uh, 400 XP on the table. And speaking of free XP on the table, if we just step outside quickly, we've got Brother Devin right here. Who doesn't seem to be doing uh, too hot, all things considered. But he won't speak to me, not right now. Round the corner though, Brother Ware, he'll have a chat to me about poor old Devon. See, Brother Devon, he's been on a fast. A long one. No food. Only irradiated water. Waiting for a sign from Adam. Most folks would say that's real admirable. Giving yourself to Adam like that. What do you think? Oh yeah, glory to Adam and all that jazz. Brother Devon's actions are very admirable, truly proving his devotion. I mean, no one's saying the kid's not tough, sure, but look, me and Devon, we're, we weren't born with Adam's blessing like everyone else around here. Rads, they hurt us, 
Now Devin thinks fasting and refusing meds till he dies is gonna get Adam to grant him some kind of revelation or something. I've tried talking to him. He won't listen to me anymore, and everyone else in this place thinks what he's doing is a brilliant idea. I... I know we don't know each other, but if you could convince him to quit, I'd owe you. Could give you some anti-rad meds I've cooked up. Recipe, too. Damn handy for folks like us. What do you say? Talk to him for me? Okay, literally useless to me, but I'm gonna do it anyway just for the XP. And there we go, the trial of Brother Devin. I love this quest, by the way, because I don't know whether it's an intentional little reference to Fallout 1, but it kind of feels like it might be. Because in Fallout 1, when you were dealing with the Great Khans and Tandy being kidnapped, there was a slightly unusual weird resolution to that quest where if you were dressed in the right way, you were mistaken for somebody else, uh, the guy's long lost father in that case. There is a similar, very obscure resolution to this tiny mission, which is if you dress up in all of the Children of Atom stuff, and if you have enough rads, I believe more than I've got, like 70% uh, of your health meter filled up with rads, then you speak to him, then you are sufficiently glowing that he will believe you are the lady in the fog who we just saw a second ago, and he'll accept you telling him, hey, stop the fast. Otherwise, it's a very hard speech check. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just want to make sure we are... We should be far enough back from any rads right here. I don't need the power armor right this second. Look at that red. Not good. Not good at all. So, okay. I'm going to be needing to put on, yes, my dress, my wig, my glasses, and some drugs to get this done. And let's also hope, of course, for no illness, because doing any drugs does do a disease roll. That's just thirsty, nothing dramatic there. There we go, quick bit of hydration. Right, now we just need to speak to him as fast as possible before this all wears off. I have good news. I am Atom's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. There. Now, um, let's just keep this between us, okay? You're the... You're the messenger? The shackles are gone? They are, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Thank you, your brilliance. And don't fear, messenger. I will keep your secret. Oh, Adam above, thank you. I can't believe I love the delivery of that line. Messenger. It's marvelous. And yes, indeed, he just runs off so happy about having met me. Right, back in the armor. No, John, not back in the armor. Do not leave the charisma gear on. And with that all in place, back in the armor we go. There is a shop just around the corner. So, uh, while I've got great Mentat, so, you know, uh, Charisma plus five and also another 10% buying and selling, may as well top up my ammo. Oh, yeah. 308 for five caps apiece. That's a good deal. I've got no money, but I'm sure I've got something I can trade out for this. Here we go. Handful of drugs I don't need. Two Molotov cocktails. Can't see myself using those at this point. They're just extra weight, to be honest. And... Uh, 2308, 450 caliber. Not bad at all, though I would like to... Could I just maybe get rid of... No, even that's too boo. Well, I guess I'm just stuck with one cap, dear oh flippin' dear. John, you just forgot to go back to Brother Ware. He would have given me stuff I need to... Okay, we can sell this stuff in a second. Because he's about to give me Ware's Brew. Which is actually really, really good. It's just literally useless under this rule set. And there we go, another 400 XP. We're nearly at the next level already. Okay, here we go. We need to go into the uh, the command center at this point. Because, oh bloody hell. There is, however, one advantage I've got here. Which is, inside this location, there's... Okay, there's not no rads, but there's almost no rads. There's no fog. There's just one or two barrels. I know where they are. And that means... Uh, we can leave the power armor parked here, which makes a huge bloody difference. Here we go. Power armor, I've got strength of 15, which is completely cocking worthless to me. But other than that, yeah. Um, agility of 10? No. No, no, no. That's no good at all. That there, that's more sneak. That's more AP. That's a lot of really, really useful bloody stuff. All right. And... Bonus perception of my hat and whatnot, so better chance hitting that. My endurance is still fine, so I've still got over 300 hit points, but 
I do suddenly find myself in a bit of a weird situation. In just a handful more level ups, there is a very real possibility that my health meter might be... Okay, um, full up definitely doesn't seem like the right way to phrase this, but I might no longer be able to actually gain bonus health off leveling up, especially as there's gonna be a few more rads before we're done with Far Harbor, so... Okay, potentially losing health to rads, this is... This is not something I was expecting, but it's a possibility. Though, John, maybe, um, maybe you're getting a bit ahead of yourself there. Because, uh, first, you've got to make it through the command center. And you know what's in here? Almost certainly a gutsy assaultrons, turrets. I mean, I know turrets don't sound so bad next to an assaultron, but one bad turret hit. Turrets seriously hit bloody hard in this game. And also, an invisible legendary assaultron dominator. One of the most terrifying bosses in the game. That thing is, uh, that thing is not fun. But I have got a plan, ladies and gentlemen. I have got a plan that should uh, hopefully work. So how about a cliffhanger this week? That sounds like good fun. Join me next week as we take on the command center. Then, assuming we're not dead, we can go through the little puzzles uh, nice and fast, because yes, I only need a handful of the puzzles. I don't need actually all five. Uh, that will not take too long at all, and I can just, you know, edit most of it out. It's fine. But uh, yes, after that, we can discuss how I'm planning to resolve the DLC, because uh, I'll be honest with you, I've still got two methods uh, in mind. There are two ways I could resolve this DLC, uh, both of which have stuff to recommend them. So uh, I'll have a think, and we could have a chat about that next episode. Uh, hopefully, you are looking forward uh, to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout 4. You only live once. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.